everybody welcome back to the layout and the latest update and the progress I'm making so I've made a start on some buildings for the layout the Wolfers Pier Terminal building there um, I've kitbashed that to make two into one so a left wall and a right wall joined together so the back side of that building is just made of plaster up tubing uh, still need to sort the roof out on that and the lighting so that's work in progress dpm city cab company uh, again that needs some lights fitting to it but that's pretty much complete uh, looking at a few buildings for the backdrop uh, nothing up that end of the layout uh, the other things i've been up to the tractors i painted the wheel rims of those silver the exhaust silver and the seats black just to make them look a little bit more like the old international or mccormick farmall i'm assuming that's what they were were based on but they were just plain red so i've painted those just to make them look a little bit more realistic I've done a couple of operating sessions with the layout now and one thing I've noticed uh, with so little rolling resistance on all of my freight cars uh, sometimes there's unintentional uncoupling over the KD magnets so what I've done is with a very very small piece of self adhesive foam I've cut and stuck it to the under frame of the car so it just and just rubs on one axle just to give it a little bit of rolling resistance so the couplers stay taut uh, when they're being pulled over a magnet. I found that the slack action in the couplers does force them to, uh, to uncouple. So this is a little bit of trial and error. Um, I've added it to each car. It does seem to actually add up to quite a, quite a bit when you're pulling three or four cars, but uh, they should roll. Um, still pretty well, but uh, keep the couplings taut. So I've done that to all my cars. That should hopefully, when we do get round to doing some operating session videos, uh, mean that there's no accidental uncoupling. On placing the pier terminal building on the layout and uh, having a look at it, I'm not very happy with the track going into uh, the side of the building, one edge. I'd much prefer it to go into the centre of the pier terminal. There's not really much I can do with the current track to actually get that into the centre of the pier terminal without uh, it being a really acute angle and uh, I wouldn't be very happy with that. So what I have purchased is a Y point. So I'm going to see how this looks. Um, see if we can actually get the track into the centre of the building um, a bit more realistically. Um, like I said, I don't like it going in the side. That was a compromise that I thought I was going to have to make on looking at the space that I've got and the length of track. I might be able to squeeze the Y point in there. Um, there's only one way to find out, but I think it would look an awful lot better if I had trucks going in the side and then the, uh, the freight cars going straight down the center of the building. Right, I've swapped uh, the normal short left hand turn out for a short Y, added a new piece of flexi track going into the pier terminal. So I will just propel three 40 foot cars up into there to see how much length I need and then to artificially shorten this length of track um, part of an ingle nook plan is that you have space for five cars space for three cars space for three cars um, is to put some box cars like i've got 
in the terminal already uh, have those in place to shorten that length of track so despite there being plenty of length in that siding going all the way into the terminal we'll just assume that there are some cars that can't be moved until they're unloaded and we'll see how this works and obviously you need to make sure that the locomotive is quite happy negotiating such a short radius turnout I'll report back with what I find three 40 foot cars fit there quite happily um, the flat car is longer than 40 foot so I've got to be mindful of that but uh, what we can possibly do is delete this track here and uh, replace it with the track that I've just fitted um, quite happy with that it does mean more wiring which after I thought I just completed it uh, a little bit annoying but I think I'd certainly be happier with uh, one track going into the terminal straight down the middle and then possibly moving this track here a little bit closer to the loading dock maybe um, so yeah I think I need to have a little bit of a, a rejig with the track but uh, maybe that little short radius wide turnout there will uh, make a bit of a difference uh, to, to the overall how the layout's going to look so I'm going to uh, crack the soldering iron back out again I'm going to need to re-drill some uh, feeder uh, holes for the dropper wires and stuff like that but uh, I'll be back after. Right, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but hopefully what we will end up with is a much better looking layout. Had to redo uh, all the feeder wires for all the track that I'd moved and the ends of the track here. Um, yeah, that was quite a problem. Uh, after cutting the track, um, it slightly moved out of line. So what I was finding was that the rear driving axles of the locomotive were actually derailing going over the baseboard join right at the front there so a lot of fettling a lot of uh, a lot of moving about of, of, of track but the uh, short radius y that i've put in there um, hopefully means that we uh, we end up with something that looks a little bit more visually pleasing the second track there next to the ter pier terminal that is going to stay that length for the time being i may extend it and put some box cars at the end to block it off what i do need to do is get the traveling cranes track the crane track installed uh, to see how everything sort of is going to interface with the crane that i want to put there what I may end up doing is extending the track all the way to the end of the layout um, but maybe placing a, a road vehicle there or or another freight car or something just to uh, make sure that that siding there just stays the, the free car lengths but hopefully it's all going to look a lot better than uh, than what it did before um, probably should have built the pier terminal first and uh, laid the track around it but hindsight is a wonderful thing I only pinned the track down in a few places so it wasn't too much uh, too much hard work to uh, to move it all but I'm a lot happier now with the track going into uh, to the center of the pier terminal uh, what I may do where that truck is is open that door back up um, we'll, we'll see so inside the pier terminal I've put just some older uh, older box cars uh, there's a blueprint car in there and a couple of blue box uh, Afrin box cars um, I, I want to really detail the interior of this building uh, but I need to do a few other bits and pieces first uh, the wiring is all installed for the lights 
um, probably extend the loading dock uh, inside the building and uh, open that door back up and have the truck backed in uh, you know a few people milling about inside and some packing crates and stuff and sort of go to town on the interior because uh, it's quite a big building uh, it takes up a lot of space on the layout it would be a shame for it to be uh, be a wasted space and what I have been uh, just messing about with is some self adhesive grey foam it's two millimeters thick which is just under the size of code 100 rail so I've been cutting a few bits and pieces and just seeing how it all uh, it all fits it's quite easy to cut so to go around uh, go around all the points that shouldn't be too difficult uh, obviously going to fill in all of this space here and up uh, this end of the layout uh, I just need to decide whether I want the track uh, running down the road make the road really wide um, have some sort of full depth buildings at the back or whether I want the track uh, to the side of the road and make some of these buildings a bit more low relief uh, what I might do is carry on uh, building up a few kits uh, obviously that's a DPM uh, bulk pack there that I've just uh, made up a bit of a front of a building um, build up a few more buildings that I've, I've got planned and I've already bought the kits for um, see how it all, all sort of sits on the layout it's all a little bit fluid at the moment um, probably should have planned it a little bit better but plans change I mean look at what I've done with the track so uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes but uh, I think that's pretty much all for today and uh, I'll leave it there and I'll be back with some more progress uh, you know maybe a back scene and a few more buildings thanks for watching